With sanctions being lifted as part of a U.S.-Iran nuclear agreement, Iran is becoming a presence again in the international marketplace. Dr. Hamid Biglari is a financier and expert on the global economy. He joins us to discuss the implications for businesses and investors, including Oklahoma's energy sector. Dr. Biglari, thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure to be with you, Susan. First of all, let's establish what has been your involvement, if, if any, or just interest in the Iran deal. Well, I left uh, Iran in 1977 to come to college here. I'm an Iranian-American, and I really haven't, go I did not go back uh, for 35 years. The first time I went back was in uh, 2014, in the summer of 2014, and I went back because of the election of President Rouhani, who was the first reformist president who I felt had the political savvy to move Iran in a different direction. How did you feel as you were watching this Iran deal fall into place? Were you pulling for it? I was absolutely in favor of the uh, uh, Iran uh, deal because I felt that uh, it is only through economic interdependence that we can foster a more responsible engagement with, uh, with Iran. This uh, zero-sum uh, game of animosity that has persisted for 35 years has been harmful, frankly, to both sides in terms of our inter uh, foreign policy interests, our economic interests, and certainly it's been damaging to Iran. Um, how does the influx of oil from Iran affect the global market and our domestic market here in America and Oklahoma? So Iran, Susan, as you may know, is has the largest hydrocarbon reserves in the world. It, is, it has the fourth largest oil reserves in the world and the largest gas reserves in the world. Since the sanctions were imposed, Iran's oil production has been cut in half and its uh, oil exports were cut from two and a half million to slightly more than a million. And so over the last uh, several years, it has lost to the tune of on the order of uh, 70, 80 billion dollars of, um, uh, of oil revenues. Now that the sanctions are lifted, it will take time for Iran to recover back to its pre-sanction level of two and a half million. In the short term, it'll increase its oil production from around 1.1 million to 1.6, 1.7 million, but after that from 1.7 to two and a half, because of the fact that Iran's oil uh, uh, fields are not operating at sufficient capacity because of poor technology and supply demand imbalances globally, it will take time for it to ramp up. But my expectation, Susan, is that oil prices are not going to lift uh, meaningfully anytime soon. There's about a 98 million uh, barrel of oil per day uh, uh, supply and, a, and about 99 million of uh, demand. So there's a 1 million mismatch. And uh, we're not going to see, a, I don't think we're going to see a significant uh, change for a while. Well, with a flux like this, it's going to take things a while to settle down. All right, Dr. Biglari, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Susan.